Let's begin with our module JS file where we are going to define our first function, named function A. It's a simple function that, when called, will log function A called to the console. Following function A, we define function B. This function serves a similar purpose, to log function B called to the console. These distinct functions will demonstrate how we can export and import multiple pieces of functionality from a single module. Finally, we define function C. Just like the previous two, this function will log function C called to the console when invoked. With all our functions defined, we're now ready to export them. Using module exports, we create an object that lists each function by its name. By packaging them this way, we prepare the functions to be imported elsewhere in our application. Shifting over to our main JS file, we now demonstrate how to import a subset of the functions from module JS. Using the require function and destructuring, we pull out just function A and function C from the module, leaving function B behind. This is useful when you only need certain functions from a larger set. Here, we call function A to confirm it has been imported correctly. After calling it, we should see function A called log to the console. It is an indication that our import has succeeded. Similarly, we call function C. We should expect to see function C called appear in the console, confirming that function C has also been successfully imported from the module JS file. 